Now in this sacred moment, the presence of God and all of your loved ones, do you, David, take Marissa to be your lawfully wedded wife, and do you promise to love, honor, and cherish her throughout life? I do. A little louder, please. I do. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, Marissa, with the same degree of enthusiasm, Take David to be your lawfully wedded husband, and do you promise to love, honor, and cherish him throughout life? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you tonight to hold each other close, to love one another dearly, to understand that you have been given a gift from God, the gift of love, which comes so rarely in our lifetimes. And when we do find it, we have to seize it and cherish it, for when all is said and done, it is far more precious than any material possession. And love always begets more love. All you have to do is look around here tonight and see all of the people who have been brought together by your love for one another. I met Marissa, well the first time I really remember talking to her was in 2008 for my beloved cousin Amy Deschelles funeral which in spite of tragic events came beautiful ones and I remember talking to Marissa and being taken aback. She was so charming and, and beautiful and we were really connecting about Los Angeles and I went to my father and I said, Dad, you know I've been talking to this Marissa, she's great, but she's only interested in talking to David. And uh, he said, Drew, in a very, very fatherly son way, he said, you're 19, you are the vice president of your fraternity at college, and you work at Cruz and Muir on Wilshire, all good, all good things. He's Dave Ruby, Hollywood. He's got the Armani going, you're over at the Nordstrom Rack. But of course, Marissa became more, she became a real sister to me, and she's just great to be around, you know. And so on this day, on your wedding day, David, I want to say it's an honor to be your best man, and it's a privilege to be your friend, and it's been the chance of a lifetime to be your younger brother. And I'm absolutely so happy for you. Marissa, the happiness you bring my brother is the biggest gift of all. He's so content and in love with you, and it shows to everyone in this room. It was 
roughly almost 28 years ago when I gave you your first kiss at Sinai Hospital, Alva Sholem. And as I bent over to kiss you on the forehead, little did I know the jewel that I was going to have in my future. Marissa is the most amazing person. I'm sure every mother says that. She's been the greatest blessing of my life and to see the two of them together. I wish for them the most wonderful, happy, loving, healthy, successful life together that anybody could have, because they deserve it. You magically tied a little string around me. And over the years, that has developed more and more and tighten more and more and it's absolutely the best thing that I ever did and it's grown stronger over time and through your first lemonade stand at the Claymore and I was still supposed to get 10% and I'm still waiting for that um, from the Thanksgiving Day parade parties that we used to have there and go down to the parade with the magician. And we were fortunate enough to travel together as companions, which was wonderful. Aww. She says Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> I couldn't stand up next to anyone that means more to me in this entire world than Marissa. Marissa, as she calls me sissy, and David does as well, she is my sister at 28 years old. I can proudly say that someone who was not born and grew up with a sister, and even though I had one at 25 years old, and yes, she is three, and we are blood related, <laughs> my real sister in life is Marissa. She and I, I think became friends about 11 years ago. And since that day, Marissa, you have been my rock. You have been the person to me that has guided me, listened to me, supported me, no matter what. You know, David and I just, we get each other, and I feel like David is one of my closest friends, and the fact that I don't think maybe he's called me Sam like once or twice since I've ever known him, and refers to me as Sissy, just like Marissa, means more to me than anything I could say. Being up here, you two, you have no idea what it means to me. I've had the most amazing time celebrating your love for each other because you make each other happier than anybody I know. And I wish everybody in this room could feel and be the way that you two are together. It's amazing and it gives everyone to strive for something because you two are so special. And I love you both more than anything in the world and I just thank you for giving me the honor of being up there with you today and being able to share in this celebration. to need you to sign and print your name on each of the three copies. come to the story of Jacob and Rachel. Jacob loved Rachel with an abiding love so much so that he agreed to work for her hand in marriage for seven years. 
The ceremony was beautiful, the party was fabulous. But when Jacob woke up the next morning, he found lying next to him not his beloved Rachel, but Leah, who had been secretly substituted for her. And according to tradition, beginning on that morning, just before every Jewish wedding ceremony, the groom lifts the veil to make sure he's marrying the woman he thinks he's marrying. So reenacting that custom, I ask you to face one another and take each other's hands. David, is this the right woman? <laughs> this is her. <laughs> and Marissa, is this the right man? This is him. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray. At. At. Mekudeshet. Mekudeshet Lee. Tabaat. Tabata. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat, Moshe, Moshe, the Israel, the Israel, and looking into Marissa's eyes, behold, behold, you are consecrated, you are consecrated unto me, unto me, with this ring, with this ring, as my wife, as my wife, according to the law, according to the law of Moses and of Israel, of Moses and of Israel. Hare, Ata, Ata, Mekudash, Mekudash, Li, Betabaat. <laughs> Betabaat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. Behold. Behold. You are consecrated. You are consecrated. Unto me. Unto me. With this ring. With this ring. As my husband. As my husband. According to the law. According to the law. Of Moses and of Israel. Of Moses and of Israel. I'll just say that I wish David and Marissa enduring love, health and happiness, many children and many grandchildren. Please lift your glass to Marissa and David. And then tonight with all our friends and family, with another kiss that was a little bit different than the kiss I gave you 28 years ago, you tied another string. And this is a string for the rest of your life. And I hope you have all the, the wonderful things in the world and health and happiness. Mazel tov.